Welcome to the Money, Mindset and Miracles podcast, helping you to grow predictable and scalable months of income from your business as gracefully as possible. I'm Rachel Smith, business coach, mindset expert. Today we're talking about one of my favourite topics, which is money and how you can make more money in your business. So in particular, I will be sharing how you can choose the right income goal for you and something that's going to motivate you to really take that big action that's going to see you generate more growth and expansion in your business and therefore your life. I'm also going to be sharing a really powerful but fun exercise to help you figure out what is the right income goal for you. So you might want to press pause, grab a pen and a piece of paper so you can do that exercise. Okay, let's get started. Setting an income goal for your business will really help you to figure out so much in your business. It's going to help you to identify what are your products, your pricing. It's going to identify how many times a year you're going to launch. Also going to help you to figure out your niche. I understand from years of working with women on making more money in their business that many women have huge barriers to saying and truly feeling that it's okay for them to say this, that they want more money. And this is down to old programming. It can feel really wrong for women to want more money, especially if they're already covering their basic needs for like shelter, food and warmth. You know, maybe you're already covering that from your existing income that you're generating from your business, or perhaps that's coming from income from a partner. But when we have those basic needs met, and even when we exceed those basic needs, it can feel really uncomfortable to be saying that you want more. And it can really be triggering. And a lot of that is old money stories that you have been told about wanting more money. Um, You know, in the past, perhaps you've been told it was greedy to want more, but you should be grateful for what you already have because there's so many people that don't have those things. And you may have stories about how people like you don't get to earn more money than whatever your kind of ceiling is. And when you look down the generational line of your family, generally speaking, and this may or may not be true for you, is that you are earning a little bit more than your parents did, but you're not still in that place of feeling wealthy or abundant. So if you're listening to this and you're like, that really resonates, I want for you to understand that this is completely normal. This is something I work with my clients all the time on, really understanding what their money stories are and clearing those deep rooted money beliefs. Because actually once you have cleared them, and you become more and more comfortable with wanting more money, you will then easily step into generating more money. The frequency is different. You're not dealing with um, any sabotaging behaviours that come from having those limiting beliefs. I'm not going to talk a lot today about uh, money stories or how you can actually work on those. But actually, I know this is a big topic and it's a topic that really does need talking about much, much more. Uh, And it's work that I do with my clients all the time. So just DM me on Instagram if you want me to point you towards something that's going to help you to start to understand what your old stories are and how you might clear them. Okay, now I'd like to say that all you needed to do to generate all the money that you want is that all you needed to do is clear out your money story. But actually, I'm afraid that's not true. The perfect formula is, is to understand what your money story is, work on like healing, clearing, all of those blocks, all of those limiting beliefs, but also to then take action in your business. And that's exactly what I'm going to get you to do in a moment with this exercise as well. For me, whenever we're looking at making more money, you could look at all sorts of different areas of your business. But where I like to start is starting with an income goal that's in direct alignment with who you are as an individual. Now, there's a lot of noise in the online world about hitting six figures and even seven figures. It can make you feel like that that has to be your goal. And even I talk about hitting your, your next 5K month. However, your income goal is very personal to you 
and you know just using an arbitrary goal that means nothing to you actually doesn't work your income goal and this is the bit that so many people get wrong is that your income goal has to mean something to you it's got to fire you up and give you the version of a life that you strongly desire and that's what's going to motivate you to figure out your money story and to take action consistently in your business. So let's start with figuring out what your income goal is. And this is where there's a little fun exercise for you to do. And I get my clients to do this all the time. And the first thing I want for you to do is to design your next level life. What does that look like for you? So I'm going to give you a ton of examples. Uh, Some are from my life, some are from other people's lives. But this is just to give you an idea of the things that you might want to look at. There will probably be a ton of other things that you want to put in as well. But I start with designing my next level life by looking at things like perhaps you want to become debt free or perhaps you want to become the main money maker in your family. Perhaps you want to buy a dream property, maybe that's your first property, a second property, your next level property, whatever that is. It's also about being and doing exactly what you want, which might be about traveling the world. It could be about investing, supporting family members. It could be about having a cleaner. Maybe you want to have your meals prepared so you don't have to do that anymore. It could be having the ability to eat out of fabulous places whenever you choose to. It might be having a membership at a really amazing spa or gym. It could be driving a beautiful car that's always got a tank full of fuel and is validated every single month so you're not driving around in a car that looks like a wheelie bin. So that is your next level life. So design the heck out of that. Make that amazing, brilliant and something that you're like, this is it. This is the thing that is going to motivate me to really step into my business, to get out my own way and really start to take action in my business. Next, I want you to design your next level business. What does that look like? So identify who you're working with and how. Perhaps you want to reduce the number of hours that you're currently working in your business. Where are you located? Do you have a beautiful garden office? Perhaps you've got some rented space somewhere. Perhaps you've got a designated room in your house, which is just for you and your business. Next, look at things like what the tools that you're using. Perhaps you're ready to upgrade your CRM or to have a podcast that is edited for you. Um, And also think about, you know, who's supporting you in in your business. Do you have a VA, an accountant, a tech expert, a social media manager? Perhaps you've got somebody running Facebook ads for you, an amazing coach, a funnel expert. Map it all out and really do not hold back on this. You are designing your next level life. This is something that you get to choose whether or not you share that with somebody else. What you've just written out, what you've just mapped out here is so important. And, you know, if you're looking at this and thinking, oh, it doesn't fire me up, it's not what I want, go again and do this until you've got like this life that you're like, this is what I want. This is what I desire. This is what I deserve from all of that hard work that I keep putting into my business. So then when you have the right design for you and only you will know that, I want for you to connect with how that makes you feel. That's like the internal barometer, like, is this the right vision for you? Now, the next step on in this exercise is to figure out your income goal. That's right. I want for you to go through that life and that business that you've just designed and start to put some figures towards that. And like, if you want to go a little bit deeper, if you're like, oh, I don't know what it would cost me to be a member of that gym. Some of the work that you can do after this podcast is you can actually go and visit that gym. (laughs) And it's one of the most powerful ways to actually imprint that as a possibility for you to go and be in these places. You know, if you want to drive and upgrade to your car, go and book that appointment, drive your car. I can guarantee you, you will move towards your goals and your dreams so much faster when you've actually experienced it. So start to work out what all of this costs, you know, perhaps you're like, oh, I really want to get a social media manager in my business, right? Connect with some, 
figure out how much it's actually going to cost you. You might be surprised it doesn't cost you all that much more. Perhaps you can afford them now, but I really want for you to get into this and really figure out how much all of this is going to cost. Because guess what? When you have, you know, even if it's just a rough outline right now, that is now your income goal. And you have created an income goal that is embedded within you. You are ready to step into this. This is what I'm moving towards. This is how I'm going to live the most fulfilling, amazing, brilliant life. And the kind of great news here is, is that as a small business owner, you are in a unique position where you can pivot really easily and start to look at your business and think about all of the ways that you can make this money as easily as possible in your business. And really one of the most transformational ways that you can start to generate a big step up into your business is actually creating, launching and selling high ticket offers. And not only is this transformational for you, but it's also deeply transformational for your clients as well, because they're going to get something that is so amazing that helps them achieve their most desired results. So if you want to find out how you can create high ticket offers in your business and how you can start to step into actually receiving this money that you have just written down on your piece of paper. Uh, I have a complete free guide where I will help you to map out your next high ticket offer. And when you sign up for that, it's completely free. And behind it, there's a ton of extra resources as well. I will leave the link to that down below in the show notes. Don't forget to go and check it out um, at the end of this episode. So that is today's episode. I hope you have loved this and that exercise. It's one that I do all the time in my business. It's so important for you to have a goal that means something to you. And the next step is obviously to figure out how you're going to make that happen as well. If you have loved this podcast episode and you are not currently subscribed to the podcast, I would love for you to do that if that's possible. And if we're not connected on social media, You can find out all of the places that I spend my time um, over in the show notes. Click below. Let's keep connected. And I would love to hear from you too. Until next time, keep growing your awesome business. Bye for now.